Today you're learning one of the best keys to great ball striking, dragging the handle through the golf ball. You'll never hit behind the ball, you'll hit it nice and crispy, and you'll never flip again. Mm. That's what we're going to create today, a nice divot on the front side of the golf ball. Hey Segudo golfers, Tom Segudo here, and we're going to be doing exactly that. Eliminating the problem of inconsistent ball striking with a concept that legendary golfers use, like Ben Hogan for example. The concept's called dragging the handle, and I've got a great visual for you. The handle of the club is here, the head of the club is here. Great impact looks like this, the hands leading the club head. And I bet you can see where we're going with this. Bad impact is the opposite, where the hands fall back, the arms shorten up. So we want to get out of the habit of hands falling back, arms shortening up, all this flipping and scooping, ooh. We want to get in the land of the milk and honey, which happens when we get the hands ahead of the ball and the arms extending straight after impact. That's where handle dragging comes in. Take out a driver. This is one of the best training aids on the planet for getting good impact position. You're just going to set the driver on the ground, set up to it like normal, but move the ball position back, almost where it's in line with your trail foot and your heel. What I want you to do is Get the hands pushed ahead to where they're in line with your lead thigh. So this is really crazy. And when I do this, I'm getting the face pointing down, de-lofting the club, and it's closing the club face. And then from this position, I want to drag the club along the ground, like I'm getting a little bit of the shaft to bend. So the head is lagging behind, and I'm pushing those hands and the club dragging down and forward through the ball until after impact here. Both arms are really straight. And that sensation right there is what you need for great impact. See, you'll never be able to drag if you're flipping. If you're inconsistent, that club will barely be on the ground. So I want you to focus on keeping the club head on the ground, moving towards the target as long as possible. Put the driver away. You've done your duty. We're going to get that club dragging down and through, almost like a hockey player hitting a puck on the ice and then phew, slapping it through. The longer you keep the club on the ground, the crispier the strike will be. So hitting a shot here, I'm feeling that club moving a lot longer on the ground after the golf ball. And I can't miss. You will not miss doing this. You will have a consistent contact point. It's one of the most frustrating things when you are hitting all around the ball. It's like I'm hitting everywhere but the ball. I'm taking divots behind it. I'm taking divots at the ball, but I'm never taking a div in front of the ball because you're not dragging the handle. So the handle must always lead, and the feeling is sweeping that club, dragging it along the ground after impact. Do it really slowly, hitting a shot here. And I'm feeling the arms extended nice and straight. Small shot right there, nothing, no effort. No effort to get that type of beautiful sensation. You're collecting the ball in the center of the face. Best feeling in golf. That's why you play. So as I build this into my swing, I want to get the sensation of continuing to drag. And that one I hit pretty thin. Why did I do that? Because I got the hands way too far forward. That's okay, because I'm working on getting this dragging handle. I'm not letting the flip come in. After impact, it's going to be okay if you can actually exaggerate dragging. You might see this. The hand's getting too far ahead. Just for the drill purpose, that's fine. What you're gonna see when you get to hitting the golf ball is a nice crispy divot dragging the handle. Mmm, good strike. Arms extended to straight, doesn't get any purer. Doesn't get any purer. So what's your contact like right now? Well, if it's not where you want it to be, if it's not like eight out of 10, nine out of 10, 10 out of 10 crispy, you can get it there with dragging the handle. If you find that you hit that one shot around that keeps you coming back, now we gotta change that into hitting like 30 shots around that keep you coming back. 30 shots around where you're smiling all day long. I'd say thousands of shots that keep you coming back, but then your score would be too high. So when you're on the driving range, you can hit thousands of beautiful shots and just, just relish in the awesomeness of it. So I'm just dragging the handle here. Keeping the club on the ground as long as possible after the ball. 
That is the key. And you will love the deliciousness of that ball striking. Wow. It keeps you coming back. Why do you think on these videos I have such a good time? I'm not making this up. It's just legitimately that much fun. You'll have that much fun too when you start dragging the handle. Oh, I love it. Oh, we got all of that one. Squirrels. Squirrels were running out in the middle of the driving range there. Don't want that to happen. I like those squirrels, they're my friends. They'll find the ball for you. So we're dragging the handle. Got my driver again. If I start losing the feeling, I'll just start dragging again. Ball back here. Imagine the ball's back there and just drag it all the way from behind forward. Whew. Whew. I'm never shifting my weight because that's gonna cause inconsistent contact. So I gotta keep my weight on the left side, front side. And it's almost like the longer I drag it here, there's a whip effect. Now that might not actually happen in the swing, but the concept of storing the power is there. It's this idea of the longer you can drag it, you can get an explosion of power after impact. It's a great visual. There we go again. Really short shot, but that's going far. I, I just touched it. You're gonna feel like that guy in Spider-Man. He's like, with great power comes great responsibility. And you're gonna hear and be like Peter Parker, like, what? I just hit the crispiest golf shot of my life. I don't know what to do with that. And then, then you start spinning webs of awesome ball striking. Who remembers that scene? Drive the club through the ball for a long time. Yes, sir. That's the answer. You spent a lot of time on YouTube, I'm sure looking up golf tips, just like you are right now, and you're looking for the secret, right? There's this idea of a secret. Yeah, I've got a few videos titled Secret. There really isn't a secret to this. There's a system for this, not a secret. It's not a secret, it just works when you do it. Like dragging the club works. I hit the ball first to take a divot. And that's what you learn in the Segudo.golf online golf school. When you join up, you get into a program that's structured to get you doing this shot after shot. If you're not in it, you're missing out because life's far too short to play bad golf. So you'll play the best golf of your life when you join Segudo.golf. It's really simple. There's a program. You go in it, you do the program. While you're in it, you start playing great golf. You have more fun, smiles, boom, boom, boom. It doesn't get old doesn't get old. There's no secrets to golf. Secrets in the dirt. Ben Hogan said that. Here we go again. Let's drag it. Oh, ball, where you want to go? Let's keep you on the front side here. Oh, camera, don't fall over, please. It's a little windy. Good strike. You'll just want to keep hitting balls. It's so much fun. Feeling like club gripping the ground. Oh, yes. That's the feeling. I can't describe the sound either. It's just amazing. If you're enjoying this video, please like it. We'll get it out to more golfers. YouTube just sends it out to more people when you like it. And I think if we help other golfers improve too, the world's gonna be a much better place. You should play golf like this. Golf is fun. Golf is fun. Golf is recreation. If you're not playing golf where you hit, you gotta be hitting the ball crispy because we don't play golf to putt. We play golf so we can feel that. Oh, that was the best one yet. Mm. It's like an air cannon every time. So the whole thing you need to focus on, drag the club. Drag it through, don't stop dragging. And you'll be a ball striking dragon. You'll be hitting it so good, those people on the range will be like, what was that? What was that? And the people you're playing golf with, they'll say, oh my goodness, the sound. The sound. You ever, you, you, you won't believe it. But they'll start saying, what, the sound? And they'll say, how'd you do that? And you'll say, 
Man, I just saw a Segura golf video. Just drive the club. Have an awesome week.